Don't you just love going on a trip or holiday? You're in the plane, you're super excited, and then you finally arrive there. And then everybody turns on their phones to check what's happening online in the news or maybe on Smart Money with Kai's Instagram, which by the way, you're most welcome to follow along as well. But then you realize, oh my God, you're in a new country. And worst of all, you don't have any data on your phone. So you have to wait until you go to the airport. Maybe they have Wi-Fi, but usually it's super slow, very difficult to connect, and it's just cumbersome. But fear not, in this video, I'm gonna share with you an amazing solution, especially if you travel a lot. I think that could be a great option. And what I'm gonna be talking about is the new feature that Revolut recently came out with, which is the eSIM card. Now, if you're not familiar with eSIM cards, it's really amazing. I've been using it for many years. Actually, I never used physical SIMs. Usually, most commonly, people have a physical SIM, right? You go to a shop, you get a SIM card, you put it into your phone, you wait a little, bit until it connects and then you're good to go. With the eSIM, it's basically a digital SIM and that's so much better in my opinion because you don't have to go into any shop. Basically, you can get a new SIM card directly online. You don't have to go anywhere. You just pay for it, download it, and you have it in a matter of minutes. So that's really amazing. I've been using eSIMs for a long time now. Usually I'm rocking two at the same time, one in the country where I'm living in, but usually their roaming is very expensive. So then what I do is whenever I go to a new country, I have a local eSIM and then I can use the data there for much cheaper than with my home eSIMs. So in this video, I'm going to run you through how eSIM on Revolut works, show you how you can actually install it and compare their cost to some other big players in the space and in the end, give you my opinion whether it's useful or not. Now, as you can see, if you go over on revlu.com, if you go on the personal, you will see over here eSIM data plan. So that's something fairly new. It's quite unusual, right? Ultimately, there's still sort of a bank, right? For them to go into eSIM and roaming. It's something new. It's very different. I haven't seen anyone else doing that. But I think it's actually pretty smart because they really want to position themselves as the all-in-one app. So I think it's a smart move because a lot of people using Revolut, they're using it for traveling, right? So when you travel, obviously, you always need your phone with you plus some data on it. So I think it makes really a lot of sense. They also give you free data to get started uh, up to 100 megabytes. But then again, 100 megabytes, you know, it's not that much. But anyway, it's just to get people started and connected. Then obviously, you see here a little bit of overview of what it is. But as I said, I'll take you through the app in a moment just to run you through. But yeah, you can basically buy different data plans for different countries. So it's really cool. You can either buy regional plans, you can buy global plans so that you have one eSIM that accesses all countries in the world, most of them actually, but usually it's cheaper if you buy for specific destinations. So if you go to Turkey, you buy a Turkey eSIM. If you go to Spain, where I am right now, I could buy a Spanish eSIM over here or to the States. So these are usually cheaper than if you buy a global or regional plan. But if you travel a lot constantly, then maybe a global plan might be your pick of choice. You can obviously see here all destinations, but once again, I'll show you this in a second in the app and yeah honestly to install those things are super super simple it pretty much works on any modern phone these days that allows eSIMs and I think in the future all of the phones will only have eSIM because actually physical SIM is not that good there's a higher chance of things breaking down it takes more weight in the phone so I think long term all phone operators will be having eSIM only and actually Apple phones in the US only have eSIM I think the next global Apple phones will only have eSIMs as well. So I think it's a great time to get onto it. Obviously, they explain a little bit over here also what is an eSIM, etc., how it works, which countries you can buy it for. And you can see in terms of countries, they pretty much cover most of them. So it's really, really cool. And of course, you can pick the different plans. And one really nice thing here, as you know, Revolut has different plans. One of the perks, if you are on the highest plan, which I'm on currently, which is the ultra plan, you actually get a really nice added benefit, which I didn't have previously without increasing the price. I mean, it's already expensive, but now they keep on adding more benefits. So that's really quite attractive. So you can see over here, eSIM data plans. Now you can buy them on all the plans. You can see that, but that has to be paid extra. On the ultra plan, you get three gigabyte of global data a month. So every month, every 30 days, you get a new allowance of 3G for global data. So that's pretty much covers all the countries I've shown you before. So that's quite attractive. Now, having said that, of course, 3GB is not that much, to be honest. But if you just go for a couple of days in a new country once a month, honestly, not too bad. At least to check your emails or check in on some social media. You wouldn't want to be streaming some Netflix shows, of course. But overall, for a couple of days to go somewhere, 3GB, it's yet another benefit, especially for people on the ultra plan, which I'm on. It's nice to see that they keep on adding benefits. Now, would I would have wished this to be 10 GB or 20 GB? Absolutely. But still, 3 GB is better than nothing. Right. And then let's go over to the fine print a little bit and see what it's all about. So basically, a couple of information that you need to know. They're actually working with an eSIM provider called One Global. So this is one of the bigger players out there. So technically, your contract is with them, but everything goes through the app. So you don't have to download another app or register somewhere else. So if you are a Revolut user, 
it makes things so much easier because a lot of other providers, I'll share with you one that I used in the past, you'd have to set up another account, have another app downloaded. While there are benefits with that, having it all in one app, I think is appealing to a lot of people. You don't have to worry about it. Anyways, you have your Revolut on the phone. So with one click, you have your data and you can start using the internet. That makes things just so much more seamless and I think will be appealing to more people. Now, one thing to keep in mind when most of these eSIM providers is that you're only going to get data. There's not going to be any voice coverage or you'll be getting a local phone number. But that's actually true for most of these providers. Now, some of them, they will give you a local phone number, but if you only need data, then Revolut is for you. If you need to make calls locally and they don't have WhatsApp calling there, then obviously this option won't be for you. But if you just need a data, then I think you're good to go. In most cases, you can actually use the data to make calls as well, right? Via WhatsApp or FaceTime or what have you. I think less and less there is a need to have a local phone number. Right, so once you register, you open the app and then where you're gonna find it on the bottom right here under lifestyle, you can see I have it right away under eSIM. So click on that over here and that's really all there is to it. So either if you're already on the ultra plan, I can go ahead and say click connect so i'll show you that in a second but if you're not then you can click on get data plan and you will also see here all your active eSIMs that you have in case you have different ones for different countries and of course your expired ones that you had in the past so you can reactivate them so if you keep on going back to the uk but you live somewhere else you could just have your expired one because usually they do expire after certain days it says it very clearly so you can just reactivate it pay for it again and have the same eSIM again so that's very easy very simple so if you want to go ahead and buy your first data plan in case you're not on ultra just click on get data plan over here and then it will pull up the different data plans over here so you can see obviously i could buy for germany right now as it takes my vpn it thinks i'm germany even though i'm in spain right now actually but yeah i could easily change that if i wanted to and buy for example for the uk an eSIM, right so i can see all the various data plans all of them are for 30 days only the one gb for seven days and then from here you're just going to pick what you want to buy right you can also buy less in case but if you run out of the data you can just renew and top up right if you buy 3 gb for example you could repurchase it later on in case you run out of it right so it's very simple or you want to pick five and then you just click on continue over here once again at checkout you see how much you're getting for 30 days how much is due and then you click pay and boom, you have it. And then from there, it runs you through the process of how you install it. And once you install it once, that particular country's eSIM, you know, next time you just have to pay for it and it's already activated. So the activation process only the first time, afterwards it's super, super simple, it literally takes you a second. So once you have a couple of countries here, you know, whenever you travel there on a frequent basis, you know, as soon as you land, you just enable it and boom, you're good to go. So really, really seamless. So if you go back to changing countries, as I shown you before, I mean, a lot of countries to choose from, all of them are available where you can buy local data. And as I said, that's usually cheaper. I could also have regional for a specific region. In this case, you know, I could use Asia Pacific, Europe, or North America so that's a bit more expensive and then you have also a global plan which is the most expensive one so you can see here 3 GB only 3 GB is 21 euros so very expensive but of course it covers 108 countries so in this case if you really travel a lot maybe you're a pilot I don't know you're constantly in any of those countries you might want to buy global data but honestly in most cases I don't really see the point it's usually much cheaper to buy local data pick the country you're in and then maybe have a bit less data, but then buy the same data somewhere else, usually you're gonna be better off. But since I'm a Revolut Ultra user, I get 3 GB for 30 days, basically every month for free. So let's make use of it, even though right now I actually have local data, but still, I just wanna show you how it works. So let's click on connect over here. So essentially it's the same principle. If you don't have it, you would have bought it through the way I've just shown you. In the end, it's the same principle. So I just wanna run you through how to actually get your Revolut eSIM working for you. So click on connect over here. Once again, in my case, now I'm gonna have the global data plan for 3 GB, which you know, equivalent is 21 euros. So if I factor that into my Revolut plan, once again, makes it even more attractive. So, right, I'm fine with this. Let's click on continue. And then it shows we're processing your order. So we'll take a second. Obviously, it will route it through one global that I showed you before, which is their partner to do the eSIM. So Revolut is not themselves doing it, but they're partnering with them, but it goes all through the app. To start using the app, install the eSIM. So click on install eSIM over here. Activate eSIM. Yes, I want to activate it. Click on continue. eSIM from one global is ready to be activated on this phone. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Click continue. Now, since I'm already using two other SIM cards at the same time, depends on your phone, but usually you cannot have more than two SIMs active at the same time. You can't have 10 numbers on your phone, right? So you can only have two at a time. So in my case, I have to switch off one of them, my Dubai card or my local Lithuanian card. In this case, let's turn off my Lithuanian card. Okay, let's go ahead with this. Then of course, because I turned off one, it changes my default settings. I'll show you in a second where you can change that, but that's fine. Let's click okay. That's a good time to have a coffee. Very nice. And boom, literally a few seconds later, mobile plan, setup complete. 
and my eSIM is ready to use, click done. And then from here, I have to choose my default lines. You know, default line is used to call, send messages and uh, contacts, etc. But obviously, as I said, I can't make calls with that line. In this case, by the way, it's called business. I can rename this later on, otherwise it might get a bit confusing. So I choose add a salad, which is my other default line, which I use for my calls. If somebody calls me internationally, they should call me on my Dubai phone. And then here you choose your mobile data. So right now, obviously, since I'm in a country where I want to use my Revolut card, I choose business for that. Once again, I'll rename this in a second, so it makes it easier to remember. But business right now is my Revolut eSIM, basically. Let's click continue. That's literally all there is to it, right? Right now I can see active, I have 3GB remaining. It will expire next month. If I'm running out, I can click on add more data and I could buy more data if I wanted to. But again, I just want to start using it. Now, one thing to double check everything is set up correctly. You want to go into your settings under mobile service and then click on business. I'm just going to rename it so it's easier to see. Let's give it a custom label. Let's call it Revolut. And you want to turn on data roaming. That's usually very important. So it starts working. Sometimes if you don't have that on, the card actually won't work. And so turn on data roaming. Now one piece of advice, I usually turn down the data mode to low data. So that way there's no background synchronization going on and so on, because that can suck a lot of your data. Because obviously I only have three gigabyte. So that is not that much. So I don't want to have all the background syncing, you know, my photos being uploaded to the cloud and what have you. So put on low data mode. That way you can still use your internet, but all the background synchronization will not be happening. And yeah, once again, make sure the mobile data that you're using is Revolut and not your other card. And that's how simple it is. Basically, now I can surf online when I go outside, not using any Wi-Fi. Instead, I'm using my Revolut data. So I really like that procedure. As I said, it's very seamless. If you're on the Revolut Pro plan, it's a no-brainer. But even if you're not on the Pro plan, I think it's a really compelling option for a lot of Revolut users to make buying data so much easier. Because if you use your roaming charges from your home, your local telephone provider of choice, it can get very expensive, especially if you go, let's say, outside the EU, you go to the US and you have a European phone carrier, it can get extremely expensive. So I always recommend get a local eSIM card and that way you don't even have to go to a shop anymore, fiddle around with your physical card. It's so simple. But what about the cost? Is it expensive or cheap? Let's find out. I've always been using my app of choice for that, which is called Nomad. Really great app, which makes it so easy to download various eSIMs. So once you download the app, you register, and then you have very much similar options as you have with Revolut. And it's very easy to pick here the different countries you can see by Europe, popular countries, Asia, etc. You can buy SMS plan. You can buy also regional plans or global plans. So it's really up to you. Once again, if I go to the UK over here, I can see all the various plans. Plus, of course, how much they are and how much data I get. And often they have special sales. For example, 10 GB right now is only 14 euros instead of 16. So yeah, that's really easy. And the principle is the same. I would click onto this, go to checkout and then check out. And honestly, it's exactly the same procedure as Revolut did. You'll get the plan details, you confirm, you have it installed it and you're up and running in a matter of minutes. And actually I had my old Nomad plans already installed. So I could just reactivate the plan, pay with my Apple Pay and I'm up and running. So it's super, super simple and seamless. But let's compare, for example, the cost between Nomad and Revolut. So here I can see in the UK, 10 GB would cost me 14 euros. If I go back to Revolut over here, I can select the UK as well and I will see 10 GB would actually cost me 20 euros. So you can see between 14 euros and 20 euros, that's quite a difference actually, you know. For 20 GB, it would be 32 euros on Revolut and only 19 euros on Nomad. So definitely in the case of UK, much cheaper going with Nomad. But let's change the country. Let's imagine you go to the United States. So 10 GB right now would cost you 18 and a half euros with Nomad. If I hop back over to Revolut once again, click change country over here, United States, and then I will have 10 GB it will be 24 euros. So 24 versus 18 and a half. So once again, Nomad is winning. And let's do one last country, Turkey, which is a very popular place for people to visit. 10 gigabytes on Revolut would be 16 and a half euros. On Nomad, if I go back over here, Turkey, 10 gigabyte, 17 euros. So this case, actually Revolut is slightly cheaper, but that's probably one of the very few examples I found. I looked up more countries and usually in the end, the Nomad app usually ended up being much cheaper than Revolut. But overall though, I think it's a really smart move by Revolut. It's a great feature. It makes it so much more seamless and really becomes your go-to travel app. I mean, now you can exchange your money. You can use it to enter airport lounges. You have your insurance on there. You get cash back with your card. And now you can also have your phone data with Revolut. So I think it makes it all in one app. It's really amazing. It tracks it all. You can all pay it with one single app and you don't have to download and register for different apps. So I really liked it. I also love that they're giving Revolut Ultra members a free allowance every single month. Now I would hope that in the future that could go up to 10 GB, let's say, because honestly 3 GB is really not that much. So maybe they could give 10 GB to Ultra members and then maybe less data to lower paid plans. So that could hopefully be something in the future 
to add as well. So if you value comfort and convenience and you're a big Revolut user and lover, then honestly, I think it's a great option. If you're already using Revolut, but you're really mindful of your prices and travel a lot, then I think it still makes sense to look for another operator such as Nomad, which I'll use and continue to be using because you can see it actually is cheaper, especially if you buy more data and use it for longer period. I think Nomad is still a winner. Definitely great feature. It's not available yet in every single country, but they're rolling it out to more and more countries. And I think eventually, all Revolut users will be able to benefit from this great feature. Next up, check out this video over here. As always, thanks a lot for watching. Stay healthy, get wealthy, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.